this is the uh, Rhine at uh, Remagen, um, just uh, north of the, about a kilometre or so north of the bridge and uh, just to the north of the, the town, the side of the Rhine, nice little park here. And here we have a uh, memorial to uh, the racing driver, Rudolf Caracciola, who was born here in 1901 in Remagen. And this was put up a hundred years later to celebrate his, uh, what would have been his hundredth birthday. That's a very nice little uh, memorial. Now I wonder which car he was actually driving. Beautiful fairy tale type uh, houses That's near the railway line in Remagen. Mr. Bloomberg is a Malermeister. This is his work, then uh, I think I'll agree with that. Picks up very nice in that uh, old building. Beautiful old street. Yeah. Night 1600. Four hundred and six years later, it was restored. Here we have the Town Hall of Remagen and a rather empty Town Hall Square. Today is Saturday the 14th of March and um, it's about 9.30 now so I expect somebody at least to have woken up. Other streets leading down to the River Rhine below. This uh, town hall dates to 1862. The previous town hall date was from 1835, so it wasn't much of a wine house. Beautiful. So another wonderful old building, 17th century perhaps, maybe 18th century. Hotel now, view of the Rhine. That's the Hotel Fassbender. Now recommended by AA, Alcoholics Anonymous, or the Automobile Association, one of the two. Main Street. Well, being in the publishing business myself, I uh, find that quite impressive. This is the view 
from about 100 metres to the south of the former village at Remagen. And um, we've got this bit protruding out into the, the river, which looks as though it might be a bit of the bridge that left was left. In fact, I remember somebody saying to me uh, a couple of days ago that there's a bit left, and I couldn't remember a bit left, but I uh, took his word for it. Um, and when you're further up the stream there, as I walk down, it just looks as though it's part of the bridge, but uh, when you get closer, you see it perfectly well it isn't. In fact, it's a landing stage for a factory which apparently um, must have gone bankrupt maybe or ceased working in the late 50s, early 60s, something like that nature. And that was the place where um, uh, along a, a narrow gauge railway the um, boats were land uh, loaded with the products of the factory which made things like door frames and uh, window frames and things of this nature.